Hey, Randy here for Complete Growing. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is a two-part series on water quality, pH, and adding nutrients, everything you need to know. All right, we're back. We're gonna start talking about nutrients and water quality, pH, total dissolved solids, refilling, and all of that. So, we'll get started right now. Okay, first we're gonna just test the water, whatever water supply you use. Um, you know, whether it's tap water, rain water, well water, um, it's H2O. Anyway, you test your total dissolved solids and your pH. First, the pH, this little pH meter, probably about $9, $10 or so, Amazon. And just test the water. We put, I already have some in here, obviously. And we have... 7.1 is our tap water here. I'm using tap water. That's the pH. And then we'll just check the dissolved solids. Again, um, parts per million, dissolved solids meter, same thing. They're probably about in the $10 to $15 range. And we'll just check our dissolved solids. Before we put anything in here, it is 36, which is really good actually. And that's just tap water for us so whatever reading you get that's just a base and just go from there okay next step we're going to put our nutrients in um, we get master blend is one of the best soluble uh, nutrients we can use for uh, hydroponics and the aquaponics $18 including shipping comes in a priority mailbox in resealable bags so it says on here two teaspoons for five gallons. So we're gonna mix two and a half gallons to do our test here. So we'll do one teaspoon of the master blend. And then a half a teaspoon, as it says right on here. It says one teaspoon for five gallons, so a half a teaspoon in our two and a half gallons that we're gonna be doing. And the last one is calcium nitrate, but you want to mix that one separate because they can lock each other out. So we'll get this one completely into solution. And I had exactly a half a gallon in here. I already have a full gallon in there. So we'll dump this one in. And then we'll get another half a gallon to mix our calcium nitrate. All right, so we'll put the one teaspoon of calcium nitrate in. I've got a half a gallon in here. It doesn't matter exactly. Again, get it mixed up completely into solution. You want to get it all dissolved to get a good test. If you use a little bit of warm water, they actually mix a little faster. The room temperature is fine. Get exercise that way. And I need one half gallon yet for our two and a half gallons in here. Okay, I'm gonna pour that last half gallon in. Now we have exactly two and a half gallons in this bucket. And I'll mix it up a little, <laughs> big spoon. <laughs> anyway, mix it up just a little bit, just to make sure it's all mingled out. And now, retest. Now the, the nutrients will bring the pH down a little bit, which is what we want. We're shooting for 6.2 to 6.5 in the perfect world, and since we all live in such a perfect world, and it is 6.2, which is great. So it brought it down. Then test our dissolved solids. This is the important one. Okay, so this is going to be our base reading for all of our nutrients in our buckets, our fabric pots, everything. And it is 650. So that 650 will be a good base. You'll know where you're at when you're doing your solution, when you're refilling, and we'll get to that later. But that's something you can just write right on your container. And by the way, these containers, they're just 
bulk mayonnaise containers that restaurants get and they throw them away so we'll take them for free just go grab one from a restaurant or whatever or if you got something like this around nice to have a screw on top great to mix everything in um, just handy now what I'll mark I'll mark my 650 of my total dissolved solids on here just so I'll know I'll also mark on here that it's two teaspoons for five gallons of water of the master blend and the calcium nitrate and one teaspoon of the magnesium sulfate so when we go to refill it's all going to be consistent and we'll go get to all the refilling and all that on the next video well now that we have the two and a half gallons of this perfect mix don't waste it use it on your house plants use it outside on plants this stuff is great on everything at complete growing we keep it simple we keep it sustainable we keep it affordable and most of all we keep it real so join our growing community by subscribing and clicking on that notification bell because you don't want to miss a thing <laughs>